Hey y'all, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another video, gang gang. <laughs> hey man, so y'all y'all know what it is. It's another edition of Comedy Hour. You see by the title. It's another video courtesy of Bill Burr called Psycho Robots. So this should be interesting. And I've always had a had a fear of like robots getting to the point where they're more intelligent than us. Well not more intelligent, but like they can essentially Malfunction. I'm sure y'all probably like watched the movie I Robot by now, where robots like you know they start thinking for themselves too much, and they start looking for human rights and stuff like that, and take over the human race pretty much. So that's definitely a fear of AI, artificial intelligence, stuff like that. So we'll see what his take on it is. This is from back in 2012, so we'll see how much different it is compared to now, or whatever, right? But yo, again, appreciate y'all coming to the channel. If you've seen my face for the first time, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe because this channel is all about providing you with a daily dose of edutainment. I promise that no matter how boring the topic is, you'll be entertained. And even in, in the topics, the videos that are just pretty much entertainment, you'll learn something too, right? So that's what I call it, edutainment. Ranging from commentary to like political, I mean, videos, Controversial videos, controversial topics, to lifestyle videos, to skincare and health. I got you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of you. Take care of your edutainment, educational and entertainment needs. Okay, all on this channel. So without further ado, let's see one of the comedic greats, Bill Burr, take the stage. Psycho robots. All right. <laughs> I gotta get my act together, man. I'm really, uh, I'm really at a critical point in my life, you know? I am, I'm, I'm serious, I'm a, I'm a fucking psycho, man. I've realized this about myself, like, you know, I'm not married, you know? Mm. And I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know, pretty soon I'm just, you know, I gotta pick a street. <laughs> Either I'm gonna get married, you know? Or I'm just gonna be in that creepy old guy hanging out in a bar, you know, red chest hair hanging out. <laughs> No, seriously, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with me. I just, uh, mm. I, th I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. <laughs> There's a critical point when you stay single too long and when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, you know, don't, don't, don't say that to, eh, fuck it, say it, see what happens. <laughs> Dude, and once you cross that line, this, the, the, the evil that just, just opens up, it's just, you know, I don't know, you know what, I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman hater, because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Right? You got to deal with that every single day. Hey, honey, you want to do And you literally, you know, Every Maggie, day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more your life away, you know? <laughs> just waking up inch by inch, you know? Every day, just... <laughs> Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. See, I, like, this is real quick, bro. What I've learned, overall, like, women will try... It's not like they do it on purpose, but, like, just innately, they'll try and, like, make you more in their own personal image, right? So as a man, you gotta... The, the things that made you attracted to her when you guys were dating is what you have to be doing to keep her attracted to you, right? So if you were going to the bar, if you were going to like golf, if you were doing golfing, if you were going, playing pickup basketball, you got to continue doing those things rather than saying, oh, let me just forget basketball, forget this, and just pay full attention to her, right? Obviously, you know, she's important. But in terms of the pecking order of your life, especially as a man, it's yourself, your career, and then her, bro. <laughs> That's how it should flow. Cause like, your career is what like, sustains the, the whole relationship for, for the most part. I mean, if you don't have a job, like she will still be with you, but like, it'll definitely create like some type of pressure on the relationship. So be about you first. The things that, the main thing, the things that made her attracted to you when you're dating is what you have to do to keep her. Like constantly be dating your girl. Like the dating game does not end once you get into a relationship or when you once you're married. You have to constantly continuously be dating your girl. Maybe one week take her out once, 
Next week, take her out twice. Next week, don't take her out at all. But keep her guessing. Keep her, like, that anticipation needs to be there. Don't let things get, like, uh, dry or, like, routine too much. Keep her guessing sometimes. I'm just saying. You <laughs> find that that's ugly. Throw it out! So one day you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets, I still like sports. Oh, here she comes, here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn how to, how to pick my battles with my girl, you know? It's what I am, you know? I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. Some days, they, they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb shit they wanna do. Like, hey, let's go get a picnic. We'll have a picnic, you bring the good bank and you fucking... <laughs> The voice, the then voice. other days, you just, you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta no, not just today. create this perimeter, something for them to bounce off, like you just, you just send that psycho energy in another direction. <laughs> Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. Game, <laughs> they start coming back. Go see my parents. <laughs> no, they're relentless. They never stop, and there's no reason for them to stop. You know why? Cause, cause you can't hit them. <laughs> That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bound guy. Yeah, hey, I go to the fucking gym. Slap his protein shake on. I mean, he has a point. It makes sense. But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face. Totally acceptable, right? But with women, there's no line. They can just keep fucking... Just keep coming at you. Dude, they can do stuff worthy of, like, a suplex, and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't even have the decency to run away. They'll, like, light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da, I did that shit. Oh, yeah. And I was so proud of my work, I stuck around to see your reaction. I'm fighting. That's why you gotta like date your girl, like the girl you're her now. Date her for a little while. Don't just like a month in, you're already dating this girl. Like, let, you have to see her character. See, this, this goes for both both ways, right? Men and women. Like, date the person for a little while, like, you no, know, two, three, four, five months first. Like, constantly be dating like checking see see what they're doing like by by that time around the three month mark is where people like stop aren't able to put up a front as much as they want to right so just be constantly analyzing ask questions bro ask questions ask about their past ask about things that you know are important to you so that allow you to see the character of a, of, a, of a guy or girl like what do you want what do you like what's what state of you what state of, of mind are you in right now like, do you have, have you had issues with guys in the past? Like, what kind of issues? What made them issues? What did you learn from them? Those are the types of questions you need to be asking on your dates when you guys are hanging out, hooking up, or whatever it is. Those are the questions you need to be asking. Invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name. Susan did this shit! Don't do that crazy shit. You're sitting like, nah, now bro. can I at least put her in a headlock, give her a couple of... And I feel bad for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know? Just every once in a while. Just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know? It's good for you. No, I know, yeah, I know. It hurts, you know, you can't feel your nose, your ears are ringing. But I'm telling you, man, it, it clears your head. And it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed. But at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking, like, you know, it's kind of being a dick back there, you know? <laughs> and I really think about it, I probably shouldn't have said that last shit, you know? And you, you, you'd, like, make that adjustment. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. I can't believe he's just going to say this kind of thing. Actually, my girl punched me in the head on Valentine's Day a few years ago. Oh, shit. Yeah, you want to hear this story? This is a great one. This is how much of a dick I am, that I can actually... Tell a girl I love her, give her a card, and somehow at the end of the night, she's still blasting me in the head, you know? 
I can't even remember what happened. All I know is she said some shit, then I said some stuff, then she said some more stuff, and I said, fuck it, I'm going for big air. I said the last shit, and next thing you know, she just came flying at me, right? Fist balled up. Okay, and at first she was just hitting me all in here, you know, which is acceptable, right? It's a holiday. Let's fucking keep it nice. Let's keep it nice, right? And I gotta admit, I was blocking most of it at first, right? I was doing the rope with dope. I was leaning back, I was pulling her head in, I was leaning on her, talking shit, trying to tire her out, right? And then all of a sudden she just went up top, fucking bam, it hit me right in the side of the head. You know what hurt the most was not that she hit me, was that after she hit me, she didn't have the decency to hop back, like, like maybe something was gonna happen. She knew nothing was gonna happen. Nah, it's against the rules. So not only did she get to blast me in the head, she then got to do like this UFC talking shit thing in my face, pointing. Oh, it was brutal. And she started like breaking up some stuff. You know, of course it was all my stuff and I'm just standing there, okay, don't look her in the eye, stand as still as you can. Let her calm down. Oh, that's great. That's something mine from high school. That meant a lot to me. <laughs> evidently not to you. It's funny. If I was doing that shit, I'd have a cop with his knee in my back, but evidently you have a vagina, so that makes it okay. I just have to stand here as you break all my shit. See, like, when we talk about double standards, like, you know, they work both ways. They work both ways. Like, girls have some double standards that benefit them. And guys have some double sounds that benefit them too, all right? So it's like, that is the game of life, I would say, I guess. But yeah, like I, like I was saying before, bro, you don't want to deal with like crazy guys or crazy girls. You think I care? Yeah. I don't care anymore! Quit hitting me. I've lost my mind! Quit hitting me. Cool, you don't need to give a fuck. That's cool, I got video proof of you doing this. You're crazy, bro. You're crazy. Let me leave, you have me blocked in. Let me leave, you're kidnapping me. Right, you have to be vetting the guys you're dating and girls you're dating during the dating process, during like your talking stage, whatever it is, right? I mean, like, there's certain levels to it, right? You could just be talking to someone, then you guys are smashing, whatever it is, and then there's actually dating. For a girl to be like you're a girl that you're dating, that means, she, that means he or she has to be adding to your life in some aspect, right? And you should be vetting them, checking them, to see if they're worthy of getting to that next stage. You shouldn't be desperate for a relationship, bro. Don't be desperate for relationships, right? Relationships, like, people can't... Relationships can make or break you in a lot of cases. So if they're not a quality person and they're actually distracting you from your job, your career... They can ruin your life, bro. <laughs> they can ruin your life, right? Because, like, it's different from having somebody that you smash here and there once in a while. But someone you're dating, and that means you're constantly seeing them on a weekly basis, they can have major influences on your life, positive and negative. So, be mindful of that. Alright? Don't be in a rush to get in a relationship. Just chill. Vet the person, see what they're about, see if your morals and values coincide. And then, if so, no? Make them your girl or guy. Alright? <laughs> Hope y'all enjoy. Make sure you watch make sure you watch the other days on my channel. I have a whole comedy special playlist, comedy hour, can, where you can come and catch these jokes with me right here in the cards. And then I have another video, my most recently uploaded video, my best of viewer. Look at my face and subscribe. And that's it man. And y'all already know the motto. If you've seen a couple, couple of my videos by now, the motto is always if it doesn't feed you. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, all of the above, then don't water it. Don't do not water. Don't water dead situations that aren't feeding you. And again, always keep that same mother of energy. Tell people tell the people around you if they overlooked you, if they doubted you, if they slept on you, and now they wanna like show love, quote unquote, fake love, tell them. Keep that same energy, bro. Keep that same energy. None of that shit around here. <laughs> and you want to copy a hoodie or sweatshirt and it'll be linked in the description down below I appreciate the support I appreciate you taking the time on your day to watch me I don't take it for granted at all alright God bless, much love, peace and joy deuces I'm flexing through pressure to check on the dress I want to be better than this it's family forever, my dogs are together so we getting lit in this bitch I remember having no guap I remember having no sauce